and welcome back. This is Coca-Cola Rated Next Sing It. Sorry. Coca-Cola Rated Next Sing It Season 3. English came on a boat, don't worry. <laughs> well, I am in the presence of the Jazz King himself. I'm talking about Mr. Isaiah Katuma, and I've decided, how about I have a word or two with him? Welcome to the show, Mr. Isaiah. Thank you. I'm honored. I'm honored to be here. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm going to get straight into it. What did you think of the performance so far? Uh, to be honest, the judges have, have just been spot on from the beginning. And uh, I think there's a lot of talent, very good talent. And uh, I think what I've noticed is that the pitchiness that comes in is because they're, they're, they're lacking that confidence and experience, but they've, they have a lot of potential, very good, um, very good voices. Uh, I mean, great talent. Great talent. Speaking of which, I would ask you, put you on the sport as the Jazz King himself, who would you see yourself with the performances that you've seen so far? Who would you see yourself working with? Okay, I, well, I don't know whether it was the first impression, but uh, the, the young lady in pink. Prudence. Prudence. Um, and again, it, it's, it's, not, it's not because... Uh, she stood out that much, but there was a connection she has into the song. And I, and I believe that sometimes it's not just the voice, it's the connection you have with the audience. And I think she had that very strongly. I mean, she had issues, she had some pitchiness, yeah. but you can see that she lacks a little bit more experience and more confidence. I think she's really, um, she's talented in terms of expressing herself and, and that for me, that is a big deal. <laughs> I know, wow, fantastic. Do remember that Prudence is only 19. Oh, is she? Yes. I didn't know. <laughs> she's the youngest I, contestant I, I didn't even in know the competition. That. Well, there we go. Big words from the big man himself, the king of jazz, Mr. Isaiah Katumwa. Well, time for us to go back into the competition. The next contestant happens to be in probation and she needs your votes. She is actually number 10. She's going to be singing Bridge Under Troubled Waters, but the version by Michael W. Smith. Please welcome Asha. Sailing right behind 
drop of water I will lift your mind like a bridge over drop of water Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Being on probation does something, I guess. Well, um, Asha, well done. Thank you. <sighs> you feel good? Yes. Yeah? Well, we're singing about the 90s. The theme is about the 90s. Mm? So obviously, I have to ask, where were you in time when this song came out? Mm? Uh, this particular version by Michael W. Smith, it came out in 1994. I was still in preschool <laughs> and I did not get to hear of it until later on in life when I became a Christian. Wow, so 90s, she's helping us experience those of us who are not born until 2002, like me. <laughs> but I'm just going to ask our very young, esteemed judges to let me know what they thought about this version by Asha. I'll start off with Ken. Asha. Uh, uh, uh. Bridge over troubled waters. And I felt like I was swimming in the waters and you came and saved me. Amen, amen. Damn, girl, you did take me to church. You took me down to the Southern Baptist Church of Atlanta. Sorry, say what I now? <laughs> <laughs> I believe everything you say, girl. Your emotion, your connection, your vocal. This is the usher that I saw when you auditioned. It was it for the top 20? And you did that song and you touched me. I want to see you do this kind of songs. This is what you are. This is what defines you. This other stuff, forget about it. When you do this kind of songs, you will touch people. And don't forget you were controlled, you were balanced, and you knew you were saving your life for this show. So congratulations, you did a good job. Well, thank you so much, Judge Ken. I am going to go to Benin. Wow, I, I love the texture of your voice. Um, that was emotional. Um, you connected with the song. And you have presence, you know, even without moving around. You, there's something about you. Great performance. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Seema. Asha, um... I told you when I, when I came to see you guys at the house, I told you that you needed to make me forget what you did last week. And you definitely did just do that. That was really good. Wow. Thank Asha, you so well, you can do your jig all the way off the stage. Round of applause for Asha, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Please, you at home and you in the audience right now, you have a chance to save Asha because she's actually on probation. By, dial, by going to your phone, type vote, leave a space 10, send that to 8338, and then you can save Asha. The other person on probation is Sharina. Type vote, leave a space, put four, send that to 8338. Well, the competition goes on. And remember, at Rated Next UG, at Urban TV Uganda, at Malaika Nyanzi, hashtag CRN3. You can keep letting us know what you're thinking if you're enjoying the show. Remember, last week we lost two contestants. We've seen a message from Doreen. Now we're going to see a message from our very own sweet, sweet Perez Virgirimana. No, we might not 
no cry. Oh, and no woman no cry. Eh, eh, say. I auditioned from Kampala. And the first time I reached there in Delhi Center, I found so many people. And I told my friend, you guys, what? What is it? They were like 1,500. I said, now, are we going to sing or we have come just for a journey, for moving around? Let the weak say, I'm strong. Let the poor say, I'm rich. Uh, but after time, yeah, next day they told us to come back. And we came and I auditioned that day. Uh, they, the comments they gave me uh, were like, Perez, you have a voice. <laughs> The friendship that I made with those guys that I made there, uh, it was great in my life. And I know uh, whatever I, I did, I tried my best to be, uh, to behave good, to behave, uh, to be a good guy before them, to be a good guy before the, the, the bands, to be a good guy before Emma. I like Emma because he tried to, to sharpen my voice when, when we were rehearsing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I didn't, yeah, I was not, it was like new in my life. I didn't used to do it. You know, uh, Emma, I give you high five, my man. Uh, I like you so much. The second week I was put on a probation. Uh, it was so hard for me to wake up early, to wake up when others are still in the bed, uh, to go on TVs, to, to open up Twitter's what, what. I didn't have Twitter in my phone, I, but I had to download it so that I may get fans, so that I may get people to vote for me. The next contestant, we do have two leaving tonight. Leaving the competition tonight is... I thank for everyone who supported me in these weeks. I'm strong as a man. I will never cry. This is, was like my performance or my concert as I can do in other places. And I know you are there to support me, push up my music. Thank you. Uh, when my name was read that I'm going home, uh, when I reached in the house, I took the Bible. I know the Bible in Psalm chapter 50, verse 15, it says, you call upon me when you are in troubles. I will help you and you will honor me. So uh, when I, I read that verse, you know, it supported me that it, tomorrow, even if I go in bad situations, I have to call my God so that he comes down to help me. Let us be united, Africa, united. 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 Let us be united, Africa, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring what you know and I bring mine. And we sit it together, yeah. Bring what you know, and I bring mine. And we sit it together, oh. You will see the eleven ways we will step. Africa, yeah. Whatever you see is from unity, oh, Africa, yeah.